topic is Sam Cook. Samuel Cook was born in Clarksdale, Mississippi in January 22, 1931. He was the fifth of eight children of his father, Reverend Charles Cook, a minister in the Church of Christ, and his wife, Anna May. In 1933, Sam and his family moved to Chicago where he attended the Doolittle Elementary and Wendell Phillips Academy High School. Sam began performing with his family. During his teens, he created a quintet called the Highway QCs. He also befriended fellow gospel singer and neighbor Lou Rawls, who sang in a rival gospel group. In 1948, after he graduated from high school, he got the chance of a lifetime when he was asked to replace R. H. Harris as lead singer of the Soul Stirs, which provided him an opportunity to practice his music. After six years with the Soul Stirs, Sam began to branch out into secular music. In 1957, he recorded his very first single, Lovable, under the name Dale Cook. Later that year, he released his number one hit, You Send Me. Music fans loved his song so much that it toppled Jailhouse Rock from the top of the charts. He would also use his velvet smooth voice to work on such songs such as Only Sixteen and Everybody Likes the Cha Cha Cha. In addition to being a singer and songwriter, Sam was very intelligent when it comes to business. He has established his own publishing company for his music in 1959 and negotiated an impressive contract with RCA in 1960. Not only did he get a substantial advance, but he will also get ownership of his master recordings after 30 years. Getting this was a gift for any recording artist at the time. He continued to be a pioneer behind the scenes, founding his own record label in the early 1960s. While working with other artists on his label, Sam helped develop the careers of Bobby Wambach and Billy Preston, along with many other singers. Sam Cooke later on went to create more hits such as Chain Gang in 1960, which also served as a social commentary by Sam Cooke himself. He also continued to win over his fans with a variety of different musical styles, from 1960 ballad Wonderful Life to 1962 dance track Twistin' the Nine Away. In 1963, Cooke once again charted his ode to loneliness another Saturday night. On December 11, 1964, Sam Cooke was tragically killed at the age of 33. Thousands turned out to mourn the legendary singer, such as Ray Charles and Lou Rawls, who sang at his funeral in Los Angeles, and another service was held in his former hometown, Chicago. The year after his death, Sam's recording company released his song called A Change Is Gonna Come. He wrote this civil rights anthem in response to Bob Dylan's Blow It In The Wind. It was perhaps his most pointedly political song. Sam Cooke has left an incredible musical legacy. He has recorded live shows such as his performance at Miami's Harlem Square Club in 1963, and it only takes a listen to recognize his contributions to soul music. As a pop icon, he has endured through many soulful songs. Other artists such as Otis Redding and Al Green have covered his work in music. In 1986, he was inducted into Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The musical legacy of Sam Cooke still lives on to this day.